Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 5.20 from Sadiku book. So the question is in the circuit of figure 5.49, calculate P0 of PS is equal to, to 4. Okay. That means that our PS here is equal to 4. Okay. Maybe let's plug that in. So this is 2 volt here. And this is our ground. So the voltage here will be zero. And this is connected to an ideal of M. And I think we need to remember that for the ideal of M, we have some properties that will be very useful to solve this question. So maybe let's draw the of M first. If we have an ideal of M, and this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal we will have if this is the node a and this is the node b the voltage between these two terminal will be the same that is the first property of open ideal open so va is equal to vb and the current that goes into the op-m let's say that this is ia and that is ib both of them is equal to zero. Okay, so we will have IA is equal to IB and both of them is equal to zero ampere. Okay. And then if we have a current that goes out from the of M, so I will have IC here, that is not the sum of IA and IB. So IC is not IA plus IB. So that means an op M is not a KCL node. That is one thing to remember. And here in the circuit, we have this is the ground and this is two fold from the ground. So we have two fold that connected into the positive terminal of the op M. Okay. Let's name this node here as node VA. Node VA. But then, because the voltage in both terminal is the same, we exactly know that VA is equal to 2 volt. Because the, neg the positive terminal is connected to 2 volt voltage source from the ground. Right? Okay, and this node here is V0. And maybe let's name this node here as VB. Now, let's assume the direction of the current maybe this is going to the right maybe this is going to the right this is going to the right uh, maybe this is going up and this is goes into the open because we know the current that goes into the open right okay because we know VA let's do KCL at VA first let's do exactly that KCL at no VA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, here the only current that goes in is this one, and that current is VB minus VA divided by 4. VB minus VA divided by 4. And then that will equal to this is the current that goes into the op amp and that will equal to zero right because the second property of ideal op amp and then plus this one here i will have va minus v0 va minus v0 divided by two okay we can plug in that va is equal to two so i will have vb minus 2 divided by 4 and then 0 I don't need to write it anymore and VA is 2 so I will have 2 minus V0 divided by 2 okay maybe let's multiply both sides by 4 and what can we get from here we will have VB minus 2 on the left hand side and then 2 and 4 will cancel into 2 so I will have 4 minus V0 no 4 minus 2 V0 
and then let's rearrange this so i will have pb plus 2 v0 that will equal to 4 plus 2 so we will have pb plus 2 v0 that will equal to 6. let's have this as equation number one okay and let's highlight that okay that is kcl at node pa now let's do another kcl but this time at node pb so let's do exactly that kcl at node pb kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay uh what is the current that goes in? There is only this one from here. And that current is 9 minus Vb. Divided by 4, right? And all the other current is going out. So this one here, I will have Vb minus Va. Vb minus Va divided by Okay, and this one will be Vb minus V0 divided by 8. So I will have plus Vb minus V0 divided by 8. Now we can plug Va is 2. So I will have 9 minus Vb divided by 4. And this one will be Vb minus 2 divided by 4. And then that one will be Vb minus V0 divided by 8. Okay. Now let's multiply both sides by 8. And we will have 4 and 8 will cancel into 2. So we will have 18 minus 2 Vb. And then this will cancel into 2 also. So I will have 2 Vb minus 4. 4. And 8 and 8 will cancel each other. So I will have plus Vb minus V0. Okay, let's move this 4 to the left hand side. So I will have 22 here. And then on the right hand side, I will have 2 plus 2 plus 1, that will be 5VB, 5VB minus V0. Or we can write the 22 on the right hand side here, and let's erase that. And that is equation number 2. Okay, we have two equations and two variables. I think we can use calculator from here. Let's set up our calculator as equation solver, which is number 5, and then two variables is number 1, and then this one will be 1, and then 2, and then 6, and then the, this one will be 5, minus 1, and then 22. Oop. And that is the VB. So I will have Vb is 4.55. Okay. Vb is equal to 4.55 volt. But we are asked about V0, which is this one here, the y of the calculator. That will be 0. 0.727 or maybe let's get this into millivolt so i will have 727 0.28 and the unit will be millivolt and i think that is the final answer of this question hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation See you in the next video. Bye-bye.